Mesh data created from 3D scans or additive manufacturing workflows are becoming more prevalent in today's design processes. STL and OBJ files imported into Onshape are now treated as parts or surfaces rather than a mesh, indicated by the new icon in the parts list. What this means is that these mesh parts can be used wherever a regular part can, such as in assemblies and drawings. While the mesh itself cannot be edited, a number of standard modeling tools can be used to modify the part. For example, editing this part in context and using the Boolean Subtract tool to remove the inner volumes of the cylinder. Note that the result is a mesh on the outside and precise B-rep geometry on the inside. This is known as mixed modeling. The modeling process is the same regardless of whether a part is a solid or a mesh and the order of operations is not important. You can add a mesh to a solid, a solid to a mesh, and a mesh to a mesh, giving you complete flexibility in your design workflow. To keep the edge intersections as accurate as possible, the mesh becomes refined in those areas. But if you want to make the parts easier to manage and more useful in the context of an assembly, using a plane to split the part gives you a nice flat surface to work with. These types of operations can be used to tidy up a mesh, but it's not absolutely necessary as mesh vertices can be used to assemble parts together. However, meshes are approximate, so mixing mesh and precise geometry together makes assembling parts a simple, straightforward process. Drawings of mixed models and assemblies containing mixed models can also be created in the usual way. View quality can vary depending upon the quality of the mesh, but this can be improved by editing the view properties and setting the view render mode to best quality. Additional views such as section views, detail views and auxiliary views, and annotations such as dimensions and callouts, do need to reference precise geometry. This is of course preferred. It's more accurate and things like center lines and center marks are created automatically. Mixed models exported in Parasolid and Rhino formats maintain the mesh and precise geometry sections of the part. Exporting in STEP and of course STL and Collada formats will convert the entire model to a mesh. Mesh data is now a more integral part of the design process with mixed modeling in Onshape. Replicate is now updated to include an input to allow you to decide which mate to replicate for each instance. This adds more flexibility, allowing you to select parts for replication that are mated to other components in the assembly that are not part of the replicate. The firebox has a hinge that can be used in several different places. Start a new replicate and select the mate on the end plate. Now you can place the other hinges without the door mate interfering. In-context references have been updated to improve the user experience and ensure all contexts are up to date. If you make a change that affects in-context references, the affected contexts are now indicated with a blue dot. Inside the Parts Studio, the features affected by a specific context now highlight in yellow. This makes it clearer in Parts Studios that have multiple contexts which features are dependent on the reference. Drawings now include the ability to update each version reference independently, giving you more control over when and how the drawing is updated after a change. Right-click on the model in the Sheets panel and select the option to update. The Barrel reference updates to the new version while the tailstock stays at version 4.
Just like other tables in Onshape, cut lists can now be split. This gives you more flexibility in drawings when annotating your views. Render studios have been improved to include exploded views. When you create a new scene, select the appropriate exploded view from the menu. When you make a change to an exploded view, update the scene to include the new positions.